Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery, and this is AATS Select series that you have been following under the channel. And I have in the last video provided you with a simple but very important JE Advanced challenge from the previous year's Resonance All India Test series. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the formal wording of the question. And in case you are new to this channel and you are looking at this question for the first time, I request you to pause this video, try to go through the wording of the question and attempt it for two or three minutes and then just try to answer the question okay so this is more than one maybe correct kind of a section that you'll have okay right and for those who have already tried uh, the formal wording of the question here we go there is a coil which is actually made of lot of circular loops whose center lie at the same point assume that is origin okay right and the coils keep curling around and there is an angular spread for the coil okay that angular spread is 90 degrees you could see all these are very very close and they are uh, spread across an angle of 90 degrees n is the number of turns per unit radian that means you go every unit radian in this the number of turns would be n okay capital r is the radius of each turn and assume all the turns are very close so he is asking uh, two questions one is the magnetic field due to this coil at the common center that is the origin and also the magnetic moment of the loop he has given four options out of which you have to mark one or more than one that may be correct okay so i hope you have given it enough try so let's move ahead and see the solution first we'll start with the concepts that are required so the two concepts that you should basically know by now if you are a student of je advance and you've done this topic is that uh, if a circular coil is there with capital N number of turns in the same plane, number of turns should be in the same plane. If number of turns starting coming out of the plane, then uh, this formula is not valid. Then you have to apply some formula similar to the solenoid. Okay, so this is not a solenoid. This is simple circular planar coil. In that the magnetic field at the center using bio Savar law, you should know by integration is this number mu naught ni by two times the radius of that coil. Okay, and also the magnetic moment, which is also a vector and both these vectors point in the same direction direction given by the right hand thumb rule. So for the, this particular given coil, if the current is in anti-clockwise sense, this B and this magnetic moment vector are out of the plane. So these are the things both magnitude wise and direction wise you should know. So now let's apply these concepts to this particular problem. I have borrowed the picture. So just follow my lead in to the left top of the screen. I have borrowed the picture and tried to Mark a y-axis for my convenience. Imagine this is your y-axis, okay? And go in an, an angle theta and take a width of d theta and try to count the number of turns in this d theta part, okay? So the pick these circular turns on both sides. Remember these circular turns within this d theta and draw them here. So the number of turns in that, because he talked about it, uh, n as number turns per unit angle, then the number would be n times d theta. So this n times d theta turns would produce a magnetic field at the center and also produce a magnetic moment in the same direction. I'm using the symbols db and dm for that vector contribution of this part of the coil. Okay. And since this is theta, it won't be difficult for you to know that this would be 90 minus theta with y axis. Okay. So as I said, whatever uh, db is and dm is, I mentioned them here. Okay. Then the value of by which is the magnetic field component. Remember, you should be very, very careful here. You can't just integrate dBs. Remember, as you go for different, different sections here, this angle changes. So these vectors will start rotating. So when you are integrating, you integrate component wise. So let's first integrate all y components. So the value of by is integration of all dBs components in y direction, which would be nothing but the formula that I wrote in the previous page, mu naught into the number of turns, which we ascertained as n d theta, multiplied by current divided by 2r. This is magnitude, but I have to take component in this direction, which makes it a sine theta. So this is simple integration because d theta and sine theta will give 0 to pi by 2. You could see the spread is along 90 degrees, will be a 1, right? And then you will end up getting this number only for b by component. I think in the question he asked net magnetic field. So due to symmetry, you could argue directly that whatever is happening in y direction, 
direction should also happen in the x direction. So you could say bx equal to by. You don't believe in symmetry, you can also go ahead and say if I had integrated for sine, I should integrate for cos and you all know integration of cos theta d theta from 0 to pi by 2 also would yield the same answer. So shouldn't mark this as the final answer. The b net therefore with equal components in uh, x and y directions should be root 2 times of this. So this is your answer for the b field net at this particular place where the direction will make an angle of 45 degrees with x and y axis okay right now coming to the m i think the same treatment should be there for m also right uh, dm in y direction first of all i'll integrate number of turns into the area into current and don't forget the sine theta then you'll get this same logic mx should be equal to m y therefore m net should be multiplied by root 2 okay so you could see that this has very good potential of how je advanced questions are asked okay so let's go back and try to check why i took this question is in the actual exam of that aits the key given is wrong where the paper setter missed the idea of integrating by components uh, he integrated this one correctly but in the actual solution this one was given wrong so you go back to the question and try to mark the options the answer for the first one i think is a because you know that this is going to be the mu naught ni by 2r into root 2 we got. I get the root 2 in the denominator. And none of these answers are correct because you could see there is a pi square and pi square, which means you check. Uh, I check the solution actually. I have the solution for this particular AATS paper. And they have just integrated all the DMs as if they are normal scalars. You should understand the magnetic moment just like field is a vector and should get vector treatment. So none of these options are right. So your concept should be so strong even in a simple question in exam conditions such that, that you should be confident enough that even if this is a more than one correct question and they made a typing error or a conceptual error, you should be confident to only mark the one of the options. Okay. So that's the reason and also a very important question uh, for taking this particular thing up. Okay. So let's move ahead for the next video. So this is for your next video. I have taken up a question from the Ellen AITS uh, that has happened uh, this year. And this is a very good question on vernier calipers. Vernier calipers and screw gauge questions often appear, I think, at least one question in one of the two papers every year. And the questions generally are not very straightforward like in JE mains. So this is based on the error. Uh, correction in the vernier calipers. I don't want to read the question for you. Try to read it out on your own and then try to mark the option, best possible answer that you can get off. Okay, right. So for those who are new and this AIT Select series, you want to see the previous videos. There is a playlist I made for the AIT Select series. The link is in the description below. So please try to surf through the videos. And if you like those things and you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And those who have already subscribed, try to share this content to all the other people and for those who are trying this question try to put the answer in the comments and also the suggestions for the future topics of which topic i should be taking more often try to keep the topics diverse so that we can get all the subtopics covered before the actual exams take place okay thanks for giving your company and let's hope we'll meet again in the next exciting video right